Hello everyone and welcome Dawn here. Guess what? It's hop time again at Whimsy Stamps and I'm excited because we're doing a half a ween hop and giveaway and I just love Halloween. Throughout the hop, each team member is sharing their top three favorite Whimsy Stamps Halloween products and a project featuring those products. Please remember this is a hashtag driven hop and you must click on the hashtag in the title to find all the participating channels. I have a list of the participants in the description box below with links to their channel if it helps. I'll also be using a few other products that I'll cover throughout the video. Be sure to leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for a chance to win a $100 gift card. I'll go over more of the details in the hop a little later on. But for now, let me show you my three favorite Halloween products that I chose. By the way, I want to apologize for my voice. My allergies are really bothering me and I'm all congested, so I sound a little funny. Anyway, my first product I chose is the Whimsy Stamps Haunted Graveyard Border. I love this die because it's extremely versatile and it can be cut up or it could be used, you know, on a slimline card, but there's just so many things you could do with it. It also has three different size moons and some little bats you can cut out. My second product I'm using is my all-time favorite Whimsy Stamps Halloween die. I must have used these little guys in almost every Halloween card I made. I just couldn't seem to get enough of them. And my third favorite is the Nevermore Pattern Paper Pack. I use this paper pack a lot. It's such a wonderful paper pack to use to make quick scenic backgrounds for your cards, as you'll see me do today. I don't really have a lot left to show you of all the papers because I use so many of them and I need to get some more. And I'm going to be using this one right here on the top. So let's get started. I decided to make a cute little Halloween shaker card in a snow globe. So I'm using the Holiday Snow Globe stamp set and you can purchase the matching dies separately. I'm gonna be using the two round dies it comes with. It does have dies that match all of the stamp set. I kept my two dies attached so that they can quickly make a nice border around my shaker window. The first thing I'm going to do is die cut six of these borders from some heavyweight cardstock, and I'm using 110 pound paper today. Here's my borders, and I have a white A2 size card base. Next, I stamp the bottom of the globe with some Copic Friendly Black ink. And then I need to stamp the outline of the globe. And this is how I did it to make sure I got it in the right spot. I took one of the negative pieces of the die cut and I put tape on the back of it and I flip it over and I put the frame inside the negative space and press it down on the tape. This way it makes it easier to line it up. And then I just line the stamp up on the frame and then I stamp it with the back ink. While I have my Misty stamping tool out, I'm going to stamp my shiplap background. I wanted the background to have a little interest and not just be all white, but I didn't want it to be that noticeable. So I stamp it one time with some Whisper Color ink and I think it came out great. I trim the shiplap paper down to four by five and a quarter and I get a piece of black cardstock that's five and three eighths by four and one eighth. I'm going to do some really quick Copic coloring, nothing special. I'm using three colors, E29 as my darkest color, E25 for my middle color, and E35 for my lightest color. While I do the coloring, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the hop. Make sure to hop along to each stop in the hop for a chance to win a $100 gift card to the Whimsy Stamp Shop sponsored by Whimsy Stamps. One winner will be chosen at random via a YouTube random comment picker, so be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. We will announce the winner on each participating channel. You have until Monday, April 24th at 11.59 p.m. to leave a comment. The winner will be announced on Wednesday, April 26th on all participating channels. So let's get back to the card. I just blended all the colors and the lighter and the darker color, just and I just keep adding them until I get the look that I want. I die cut the bottom of the globe out, 
And then I'm going to do the rest of my die cutting. I cut the haunted graveyard from some black cardstock and I cut along the edge of the cardstock because it is a border die. And after I die cut it, I took my scissors and I cut the house off and I rounded the bottom. And I'll save the trees to use on another project. Now I'm going to take the border die of the globe and tape it onto the pattern paper in the spot I want the background of the globe to show. I thought where the moon was would be nice and then the tree branches would show behind the house. I'm just using my scissors to cut it out. It doesn't take that long to do and then I'll just save the paper for another project. I die cut my little ghosts from some white cardstock and I die cut the word boo twice from some black cardstock. Next, I cut a piece of acetate the size of the circle frame, and then I put score tape, about 1 8 inch score tape, around the circle frame. I like to use the score tape sometimes when I adhere the acetate because it moves around really easy and gets the glue everywhere on me. So um, I adhere the acetate to the back of the frame. I'm not going to show me stacking all the frames, but I adhere all the white frames on top of each other to give the snow globe the dimension it needs so that I can add the confetti in size and it'll move around easily. Lastly, I adhere the acetate frame on top of the other frames. Now I'm going to build my shaker scene. I adhere the house into the middle of the circle. I put one of the ghosts behind the house and then I put the other ghost in front of the house. And then I'm going to add my shaker tidbits. I combined three different confettis from this Calls for Confetti. I have Sparkle All the Way, the Gloss White Sparkle Gems, and the Haunted Mix. This Haunted Mix is like awesome. I only used the Ghost Moons and some of the black and white confetti out of it. I didn't think the blue bats went with the color scheme I was going for, but I'll save that for another card because I just love them. I poured a little bit in the middle of the card, and then I adhere the shaker top on, and it moves around really cute. I adhere the two black boo dies together, and then I start to assemble my card. I put the shaker top on the ship black background. I adhere the base of the globe underneath the circle and I just push it up until it touches the circle. I put the word boo on the globe base and then I adhere the card front to the black card stock and then I adhere that to the card base. And that's going to complete my card for today. I hope you enjoyed this half Oween hop. Don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for a chance to win the $100 gift certificate. And don't forget this is a hashtag driven hop and you need to click on the hashtag in the title to hop on over to the next stop. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.